Hello community! Welcome! Today we have a look at ChatGPT from OpenAI and open source Flan T5 large language model from Google. Both are brand new end of November 2022. They came out more or less at the same time. So let's have a look at first. While we do here runtime run all on our free call up, we have a look at ChatGPT. Now it interacts in a conversational way. This is great. And what I want to show you is how they did it. They trained this using reinforcement learning from human feedback. So they have a lot of humans checking their machine learning. So we, they trained an initial model using supervised fine tuning and the way they did it. Human AI trainers, human AI trainers provided conversations in which those played both sides, the user and the AI. We gave the trainers access to model written suggestion to help them compose their responses. To create a reward model for reinforcement learning, we needed to collect comparison data, of course, which consisted of two or more model responses ranked by quality. By who ranked this? To collect this data, we took conversations that AI, human AI trainers had with the chatbot. Ah, they collected the conversations of human with a chatbot. We randomly selected a model written message, sampled several alternative completions, and had human AI trainers rank them. My goodness, can you imagine how many hundreds and thousands of hours the human AI trainers spent on ranking different uh, machine model answers? My goodness, have a look at this. See, this means collect comparison data on trainer reward model. So you get a prompt from, you have a prompt and you get outputs A, B, C, D from the machine. And then you have a human with a human bias, a label, a human label ranks the outputs from best to worst. And this human decides if it's a student, I hope it's a professor from the correspondence scientific faculty. The human now rates A, B, C, D. Now imagine you have a text about politics in the US and you have here a human that is a Democrat or have a human that is a Republican and they rate the text from the other political party. My goodness, I can imagine that the human bias that comes in with here is natural because we are talking about human interactions with a machine. So there's only a subjective and very biased ranking now with this step and it, the point is it is not reproducible but because whoever this person is here the labeler who's ranking them has very particular human views insights opinions and the way they rank this answers by the machine is up, completely up to them and if you put another human there maybe you get completely different results depending on the knowledge of this human so Wow, they trained this, but the amount of time and the, what they had to pay those students, amazing. Wow, great. An amazing approach to this LLM. Completely different to Flan, where I don't think that they had this. So let's have a look at, after looking at this methodology here, this of course is proprietary AI. Currently it is free. It is GPT-3, the base is GPT-3, plus the human biased uh, judging, ranking, interactions, and whatsoever. So limitations, chat GPT sometimes writes plausible sounding, but incorrect and non-sensual answers. This is the same problem you have with all LLMs, of course. They have no logic reasoning behind them. They're just a copy machine from different parts that they have been trained on. But with the human training that went into this model, my goodness, this could be interesting. Just imagine those human labelers were all Republicans or those human labelers were all from a particular party. My goodness, you would have a human bias in this machine additional to the machine bias. <laughs> oh my heaven's sake. But great, it's amazing that they do this. Wow, great. Now, this is proprietary. This is currently free in the research phase, but will cost, of course, quite a lot of. So let's see 
Where is it? Where is it? Here we go, here we go. During the research preview, the use of the chat GPT is free. So you can imagine, after the research preview, you have to pay for this. But given the amount of human hours they invested, yes, of course, this is the value you have to pay for. And currently they say, we're excited to introduce ChatGPT to get users' feedback. Yes, they don't claim something irresponsible. They say, hey, we have something, gave us feedback. We want to learn about the strengths and weaknesses of our, of our model. Yeah, this is the way to go, not like Galactica. Beautiful. So we have an idea. And you have examples here, for example here, they give you what is Fermat's little theorem. Of course, they trained this in their system and now they have a beautiful answer. Great. Now, with Flan T5, published by Google, free, is available on Hugging Face. This here is not available on Hugging Face, it's proprietary, you have to pay for this. We just take a Google Flan T5 large model with three gigabytes and we applied. So here we go. We are operating, of course, on a GPU and we say, explain artificial intelligence or short introduction to machine learning. Beautiful. So let's do this. Let's run this and see what comes up. So explain artificial intelligence. And as you can see, I use quite a lot of parameter. Just wait for this, should be 10 seconds on my GPU. On the free Google Colab GPU, yeah, 10 seconds. So what I did, minimum length, maximum length, length penalty. We have not a greedy search algorithm, but we have the beam search algorithm. We have a no repeat engram size defined. The temperature is rather on the conservative side. I use both top K and top P. You can use it individually, but I combine them. I get quite nice results with 150 and dot 92. Please alterate the figures to your liking. Repetition penalty is set at 2.5. You can have an exponential decay length penalty. And early stopping, if we are done with our beams, of course, we should stop. So this is, by the way, something you can apply more or less to all model generates that you have from Hugging Face. You can optimize the length you want. You can optimize the, the search structure. You can optimize your temperature. You can optimize for the parameter penalty defined for whatever element. So if you have a model, it is not just, and I would like to really tell you the size of the model that you download from Hugging Face, three gigabyte, for example, or 10 gigabyte or 100 gigabyte, but it is also the parameter. If you have your model generate command, this parameter really has a strong influence. What is your result? So we see here after all time, 13 seconds on a free Google Colab notebook, we have RAM, let's look at RAM. What are RAM resources? Yes, we are at, let's say 70, 80%. So no problem at all. Yeah, let's get rid of this. What do we have? Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science that develops artificial intelligence algorithms to solve real world problems. AI has been used in many fields, robotics, biomedical engineering, and medical research. Also been an increase in the number of applications of AI in these fields. Robots are increasingly being used to help doctors diagnose patients with disease like cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Recent advances in AI technology have made it possible for computers to learn from NLP, which means that they can recognize patterns in human speech and interpret them more accurately than ever before. I mean, not bad, not bad. Come on, for 15 seconds. This has led to the development of automated speech recognition system can be used by humans to better understand the environment and make better decisions about how to interact with each other. I think especially for people who are maybe blind, there can be an automated system that analyzes the environment and provide them with significant information. The goal of this system is to provide the improve the quality of life for people around the world by reducing the amount people spend sitting in traffic jams and waiting in line at a drive through <laughs> to drive through it's American while waiting for their car to pick them up. Waiting for their car to pick them up. This is nice. It is estimated that by 2050, 35% of the global population will depend on machines for communication, work and entertainment. I think it's already today that 35% of the global population, no, global population are 8 billion. So I don't know, but you see, just in 13 seconds with some 
optimization on your model, you can generate amazing results. You don't need proprietary AI, which of course is beautiful and does a great job, and they are still in the research phase, but proprietary AI, you do not know how much it will cost, but it's nice to see competition, to see involvement. So please don't follow this black and white approach. One has to be better than the other. No, this has a specific field for application. And this is also something that is free of charge. You can use it. You can play around. You can learn a lot about if you have access to the model, if you can tune the parameters. And this is the way I like but of course, if you provide it for the first time to the world, you don't want and people fix around your parameters. You provide something that is quite stable. So completely different applications of the model. Of course, based on GPT-3, you have this one here. And based on T5, of course, you have now this FLAN T5, both from end of November 22. I guess you might give both a try. You might experience them. If you have more computer resources, maybe take the X large or XX large file, and then your performance of the system, if you tweak a little bit the parameters, is amazing. So this was it, just to compare chat GPT to the latest Flyn T5 LLM. I hope you enjoyed it, have fun with both systems, and I hope I see you in my next video.